top flight boxer. So for him to knock him out, of course, it was just yeah. he's so good, man. So for him to do it accidentally makes complete total sense. Wow, look at the jeez, wow. Yeah, that guy's a beast, man. That's like a legit top flight boxer. So he's in there even just accidentally getting punched in the face by a makes guy. Makes me want to see the movie, I'll tell you that. Michael yeah. Jordan how, talking how shit makes it me want to see him it. to recover and get back to training and 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 filming after that. Well, it's but, like you never yeah. in the heavyweight class you never saw abs until the movies. You never it was always like I know, right? You, you know, they were like they were like basically punching bags, you know. Until now Ty- now it's like they have to be so Tyson you saw abs when he came out of prison. Remember that? I guess so. When he fought Peter McNeely, dude, he was prison jacked. That was like maybe the scariest Tyson ever. Like they finally <laughs> released him, and all he'd been doing in jail is working I, out. I don't think he could box in jail, so I think he was just lifting weights. Remember, he was super duper jacked when he got out of jail. Let's see. Can I see a picture? He was yeah. See, go to Tyson oh, versus P- yeah. That's Tyson versus yeah, that- Peter McNeely. That was in 1995. Yeah, he looks good there, yeah, dude. He looks, he looks really terrifying. Good. That was the most terrifying looking Tyson ever. He just looked like he was made out of steel. Just a tank wow, of a man. Arms, man. And I'll never forget the fucking weigh in, or uh, the uh, stare down, rather. Because during the stare down, Peter McNeely signed up for that fight knowing that he's a tough guy who's going to take a fucking vicious beating. That's what he signed up for. He knew what he was doing. He knew he was going to give it his all, but he knew in, if you had to bet, most people were not betting on Peter McNeely. Yeah. But you could see it in Tyson's face when he's staring him down. There's this crazy... He's following him everywhere he goes, like a predator, (laughs) dude. It's like a predator who can't wait to get the green light to let the genie out of the bottle. Watch this. This is Tyson's first fight. Like, look, you see Peter McNeely's kind of looking down, and you look over at Tyson. Look at his eyes oh, following. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is fucking terrifying. If you're looking at that, and you know you're about <laughs> to fight Mike Tyson, and he's smiling and trying to, like, he's trying to, like, make light of it. Oh, my God. And he looks just like a prison guard. Dude, he so is. So easy. Oh, yeah, he does. Peter yeah, McNeely does. That same hair. Prison guard. <laughs> That's prison guard hair. After the Charlie. That green Sheen. Mile hair. Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I sat next green to Green Mile hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I sat next to Tyson at, at, after the, at the uh, Charlie Sheen roast and made a lot of jokes about him. And uh, afterwards, Dice called me. I didn't really know Dice at the time. He called me like a couple weeks later. He's like, Jeff, it's Dice. He's like, He's like, he's like, he's like, basically said that he couldn't believe I said those things to Mike Tyson, like he was offended. And I go, what do you mean? What, what? He's like, do you have any idea what that animal could have done to you? <laughs> <laughs> you were two feet away. <laughs> and then we've been friends ever since. That's, but I didn't think about, I didn't think, true. I didn't think about Tyson. He seemed like a pussycat at the time. At the time. But if that was Tyson from like 1986, I think if I watched a, an old fight, yeah. <laughs> Look at you! By the end of the night, I'm literally like laughing into his lap. Well, once and he loved it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he loved he it. He could take jokes. He could take jokes. Oh yeah. But you wouldn't want to be doing that. I said, that. imagine if I said, I don't want to piss you off, Mike. If you would do that to your face, imagine what you would do to mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. He's basically the only celebrity to ever pull off a face mask. Right, a face tattoo. I thought, no, Who else has well, done it? What celebrity? A few now, Charles but. Manson. Well, those those mumble yeah. rapper dudes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like Post Malone type characters. Yeah, Takashi sixty nine. But he was the first. 